Shalom, the Lord bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This particular prophetic word will make you very happy. This particular prophetic word will make you celebrate. This particular prophetic word will make you jubilate. Whatever you need for life and godliness will be embedded in this particular prophetic word in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, God has given us all what we need for life and for godliness. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Now, let me throw a little light on this. Well, somebody's like, okay, God has given you all what you need for life and godliness or me. And why are you still lacking? Why are you still going through what you're going through right now? Honey, let me tell you, there is always a process and there is a time for everything. I say it again. There is always a process and there is a time for everything. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 from verse 1 the Bible says there is a time for every everything there is a there is a there is a time for every purpose under the heavens and a season for everything a purpose under the heavens and a season for everything a time for every purpose a season for everything things go according to seasons Purpose works according to timings. That's one thing you must understand about life. If you say to that about your life, you will be so at peace no matter what happens. That's why God always brings us peace in the midst of battles. You're sure that God will vindicate you. You're sure that the end will end in praise. You're sure that everything is going to end up good. That is what always happens. Hallelujah. Praise God. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is Prayers and the Prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please do not forget to subscribe, please. I beg you in the name of God. And do turn on your notification bell, please. Become a part of this amazing family, I beg you. I would love to be close to you. I would love to pray with you. We do prayers every day. We do prayers every day. I know a lot of people always come and watch our um, live broadcast, like they watch it later on and all that. And the present is always tangible. The present is always very evident, even when you come and watch later. God bless you has been family all along till now in Jesus' mighty name. And of course, you know, I love you. I do. I love you so much. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, this prophetic word is taught tomorrow monday i say it again this prophetic word is taught tomorrow monday now what is monday all about like okay <laughs> what is monday all about right now you know there is always an instruction that is tied to every miracle there is always an instruction that is tied to every blessings. And when God gives instruction, it's always good to be obedient and follow the instructions. Obedience is better than sacrifice. I say it again. Obedience is better than sacrifice. This word is coming to you. And this particular word will need your obedience. And what is your obedience? Your obedience is very, very simple. If we were able to always do what God asks of us, I believe would have been better people. I tell you the gospel truth. I would have been a better person if I was always obedient to God. Now, I want to read this particular scripture to you. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 7 and verse 7, Matthew. And this is Jesus himself speaking. <laughs> this is Jesus himself speaking. The Bible says, Acts and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Verse 8 says, For everyone that asketh, receive it. And he that seeketh, find it. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. 
This is a prophetic instruction of asking. Whenever you ask God for something, he says, ask and you shall receive. You shall receive what? You shall receive an instruction towards the miracle. You shall receive the miracle. Seek and you shall find. You will find the direction and the path where God is leading you. Knock and the door shall be open. There are so many doors. And it's always for you to pray to knock on the right doors. Tomorrow is Monday. And Monday is always an official beginning of every new week. And that is why God says tomorrow, Monday. And this is very urgent. God, what am I going to do tomorrow, Monday? This is what you're going to do tomorrow, Monday. As Monday begins, you will pray on this particular day. That is Monday when you wake up to the glory of God and by the special grace of God, you will wake up and you are going to pray. You will pray and you will list the things that you want God to do for you in this particular week. Now, this is a prophetic instruction. I said it before. If each and every one of us were to be obeying prophetic instruction, our lives will be better. Our lives will be better. This is a prophetic instruction. You will pray and you will ask God for the things that you want him to do throughout that particular week. You name the things. God, this is what I want for Tuesday, Wednesday. You name it all. When you're done doing that, you cover it with the precious blood of Jesus. You don't do it on Tuesday, honey. You do it on Monday. For if you will receive this particular word, not on Monday or the next Monday, you can do it every Monday. You will see a change in your life. Pastor, what if I see the word on Tuesday? I don't know. The instruction is for a Monday. But you can as well just go ahead and command the days of the rest of the week to work for you. I speak into your life. Let there be a heavy manifestation of God's divine power in Jesus' name. Receive heavy testimony. Let the miraculous move throughout that week for you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Now, may the Lord bless you. May he keep you. May he cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. Look at me. I love you so much. I care about you. I want you to always be happy. The Bible says better is the end of a thing than the beginning. It doesn't matter what is happening right now. The end we always end in praise because you will win anytime. You are a winner, man. You're a daughter of a king. You're a son of a king. You win anytime. In the name of Jesus, if nobody ever tells you how much they love you, I, Ethel Betangba, I'm telling you that I love you so much. And if this would have been of great blessings to you, please kindly pray for me too. I love you so much. God bless your donations. God bless your super tanks. God bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Shalom.